Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Why do you want to say My Gemini <laughs> My Henny and Gemini's, yeah Twins, what's popping? Did you miss me? Huh? Huh? Cause I missed your ass. Listen, all right. This will be your timeless energy check-in reading, just to see where you guys are on your journey. Give you clarity. Give you confirmations of the things in which you already know, honey. All right. Hey, boo. Hey, if it's first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Okay. Make us a little. Make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right now, now. Okay. To so go ahead and find you another reader that can assist you without cussing. Cause me, this is my shit. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments the love the donations you guys the reading requests thank you from the most humblest space ever okay this message ain't finna resonate with every damn gemini take what does leave the rest if that motherfucking shoe is too big your ass is gonna fall period all right also if you need a personal reading um that information will be found within the description box below okay you can go ahead and um go ahead and feel free to email me at mocha m-o-c-h-a-d-e-l-o-v-e at gmail.com and um actually inquire about reading prices or you can just go within the damn description box below if you are not following my Instagram, what the hell are you doing, okay? At mocha underscore love underscore tarot, honey, it's weekly tea over there. Now, I got to update it because I'm working on these damn generals over here and personal readings. And I thank you guys for being very patient with me because, gems, I'm proud of y'all, okay? Y'all would have been blue a bit. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phones. Y'all would have been blue a bitch up, okay? I'm really, ha I'm really proud of y'all really working on your patience, okay? You helping me to help you and also help my damn self because... I got Gemini, my Venus, and in my damn Mercury, okay? So as it pertains to communication and shit, I ain't nobody got time to wait, okay? So without further ado, Gemini, let's jump into it. Oh, okay. If you're new to the family, <laughs> hey, boo, hey, we're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But here, we love, we laugh, we grow, we evolve. Positive vibes, only positive type things. We are one big happy fucking family over here, all right? So without further ado, Gemini, let's get into it because... Bitch, y'all y'all know how to work a bitch, okay? I got a whole damn paid for you all. Um, I got a lot of fourth house energy for you all when I was channeling, uh, when I was in a meditative session. I got a lot of fourth house energy. I also got a lot of twelfth house energy. Also, um, some of you guys could be um, tapping in very heavily into the moon, to the moon phases or getting um, aware of them when it comes to manifestation. Or it, this could even be like... Um, this could be the art of manifestation or something having to do with um, moon magic in itself, okay? Um, really connecting with the occult. Also, this could even be like occult knowledge science, okay? A lot of cosm a lot of like cosmic energy that I picked up on, okay? I got messenger, the messenger, the light bearers, all right? For some of you all, this literally has to do with how you present yourself to the world, your gifts, okay? Stepping out of your comfort zone. A lot of focus on the internal space, okay? I also picked up on this energy of like overly I got okay I got psychological like like a psychological overload some of you all your messages your downloads your upload uploads downloads your downloads are coming in very very strongly or there's there's a sense of like a pouring okay I am hearing with the moon pouring into you okay the moon pouring onto you this could even be the strengthening or the strengthening of your psychic awareness or also your psychic abilities or there's a need or want to master that okay um the synchronicity that i got for you all was four 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 okay and one 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 all right a lot of focus around stability new beginnings and how to actually like um combine the two in order to like monetize off of your gifts or monetize off of, off of doing something that you love i did pick up on this energy of like repressed emotions coming to the surface okay so there's a need for you all to speak up you are the messenger okay so i did pick up on a lot of speaking a lot of divine orchestration a lot of um new start energy okay or fresh starts pre uh, fresh perspectives okay i also got divinely orchestrated events divinely protected okay ancestral interference as well all right i am hearing whatever is falling away gemini whether it's a mindset whether it's a, a way of belief whether it's a behavior here well whether it's actually you 
acknowledging your shadows and how you deal with situations. How it is that you can, you find yourself kind of being your own damn worst enemy as it pertains to self-sabotage, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart very heavily aspected, okay? Um... But a lot of focus around the mother, okay? This could be issues to address regarding the mother, regarding some type of like repressed trauma or something that wasn't acknowledged, okay? That you're noticing that's actually generational within your family. I am picking up on a lot of research when it comes to your roots, your ancestral roots, where you come from, okay? Or there could be like someone within your energy where that's a big focus, okay? Or you helping someone to do so, all right? Um, a lot of, I heard learned behavior, okay? You guys got connecting with the moon, mother issues, family secrets, okay? The moon pouring in, the moon pouring into your psyche when it comes to intuitive insight and how you perceive the messages in which you're receiving, okay? I'm also hearing interpretation, dream interpretation. Some of you all are dream interpreters. Or there, there, there could be a need to like, Seek out some type of like dream interpret, uh, some type of help or assistance regarding dream interpretation. Okay, um, triggering emotions of the past. Okay, a lot of reflective energy. Okay, a lot of emotional growth. Acknowledging where you've actually grown emotionally. I feel this oh this need to like let go of like overly criticizing yourself. I feel like that's coming to the forefront at this time. All right, or how you do this, or where you learned the. Like where the root of the like where the root of that behavior stems from, okay? I am picking up on a strong emphasis around the mother. This could even have to do with how you connect with women, all right? Whether you're a Gemini man or woman, I do feel like your connectivity, how you connect, okay? Are you connecting from a space of openness? Are you connecting from a space of like um like Okay, because I'm also hearing giving your opinion and knowing that your opinion is wanted. I feel like there could even be some issue. There, there could be uh, you could be a mother. There could be issues around communicating with your children. It, it, communicating with your children is it overbearing? Okay, I'm hearing learned behavior, but I'm also hearing change the pattern, Gemini. All right. Um, a lot of focus also around the moon growth, okay? A season of awareness, a season of growth and expansion within your realm. And I feel like it has to do first with uh, first with self, um, I heard self-reflection, self-awareness, worthiness, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you're holding on more so to the hurt of a situation or some type of anger around a situation versus actually learning from it and being able to grow. This is about transmutation, which is your energy, okay? Um... Taking chances, stepping out of your comfort zone, releasing self-doubt, okay? Releasing the need to know what's going to happen the fuck next and actually allowing yourself to stay in the present because the future is stressing your ass the fuck out, especially when it's tied to some type of unresolved past, okay? Um, and I feel like, again, this is all internal, but it's also affecting the psyche, okay? A lot of, again, psychological warfare. This could even be um, attacks when it comes to a psychic attacks or like some type of, um, I'm also hearing infiltration of the dream space. Someone wanting access or someone having something to say. Someone also being, I I'm going to say, obsessed or like obsessively connected to you. I'm also hearing personality, uh, personality disorders. Some of you guys could actually be therapists. Some of you guys could also be seeking therapy at this time. Um, I'm also hearing it not acknowledging some type of like uh this could be ptsd okay but acknowledging fears acknowledging um consistent behavior or consistent consistent patterns around why things actually like have the same outcome okay i am i'm, I'm picking up on like the, sh the the shifting of a cycle and you guys coming into this new awareness of self okay um you guys got heightened intuitive nudges all right Okay, psychic awareness, subconscious revelations, premonitions, okay? Um, this could also be perseverance when it comes to working through your fears, presenting something, sharing your gifts. Some of you all also could be holding back when it comes to sharing some type of knowledge based on how you were raised and your religious beliefs when it comes to family, okay? Or some type of validation, again, from a mother figure. Some of you all are dealing with someone where this is, a re this is an issue within your relationship and how you are able to connect with this person due to learned behavior, okay? I feel like someone's Someone's afraid of what they don't understand. I'm also hearing something, seeing something one-sided or seeing something from a multi-dimensional space, okay? 
again a lot of cosmic energy some of you guys could be studying um could be studying or researching topics around like different uh metaphysical sciences okay i'm also hearing something regarding time jumping time leaping okay quantum physics this could also have to do again a lot of a lot of focus around metaphysical practices some of you guys could actually own a medical metaphysical business some of you all are spiritualists all right there could also be like petty ass quarrels and competitions within some type of um I heard affiliation with something, okay, or within some type of society, okay, this could even be having to do with secret societies, things being exposed, or you being the one to expose some type of truths around secret societies, okay, I'm also hearing something regarding cults, I'm also hearing something regarding the decoding of, the decoding of religion, but more so from a space of like, again, being able to have like this sense of like diversified connectivity, or being able to uh, relate with many people, okay, of many cultures, with Without offending anybody, all right. A lot of focus around communication. Some of you guys can work in the field of communications. Gemini, be very um, cautious about popping off on somebody if you work in the field of telecommunications. Because I definitely feel like Lucifer's children is fucking. Listen, spirit is <laughs> Lucifer's children is out here. They motherfucking active, okay? They active. They ain't got no motherfucking off button, but they motherfucking time has come to a goddamn end. Hold your cool, okay? Keep your peace. Watch your temper, especially in the workplace. I am hearing don't allow something, don't allow a temporary emotion, okay, to determine something major in your damn life. I feel like take time, pull back. I am hearing, I'm hearing journaling. Some of you guys could be journaling. This could even be having to do with the dream space, but a lot of activity within the subconscious space, within you connecting with various realms. Some of you all are multidimensional beings, simply meaning that you're present in, in many dimensions at one time, all right? You are, some of y'all are ancient souls. I'm also hearing star seeds. This could even be studying the races of star seeds, okay? A lot of focus, again, around, um, Okay, so when I heard metaphysical science, I'm also hearing uh, symbolism, sigils, okay? A lot of focus around the symbolism because I am picking up on, um, okay. I'm, I'm hearing, okay, so I saw this with Aquarius as well, sacred geometry, okay, or some type of like connection or past life recollections, okay? I'm picking up on some type of awareness uh, having to do or coming into some type of awareness or some type of soul fragmentation having to do with your past life. So some of you all, your dreams may be very horrifying. Some of y'all may be experiencing a period of insomnia at this damn time, okay? You're not able to sleep. I am pick, I am picking up on the herb jasmine, the herb uh, mint, okay? I'm also hearing rosemary and basil could be of very significance or of help to you all at this time, all right? A lot of uh, you guys also got a lot of 12th house energy, okay? The 12th house has a lot to do with like secrets, institution, okay? karma all right so some of you guys could be therapists some of you all could also be wanting to go into the realm of being a spiritual life coach or this could also be having to do with like couples therapy but seeing things from again um, a non-biased space or i'm also hearing judgment free zone okay so gemini some of you all are afraid of being judged due to some type of secrets or something being revealed at this time or this could be someone that you're dealing with all right but i'm hearing spirits say no it's strongly gemini i'm, I'm picking up on also someone trying to like infiltrate your business or some type of someone trying to like defame your character but i'm hearing worry not all right you are divinely protected and the one thing about the motherfucking truth baby it can't be denied because people are comfortable with who the fuck they are so it will always reveal itself twice there's no need for you to defend yourself when you know that you've been moving upright all right ignore them hoes fuck a hating ass bitch period all right acknowledging trauma okay working through trauma as well as um as well as taking care of or nurturing your mental health, your emotional health, acknowledging that. Some of y'all have a very stressful ass motherfucking job where you don't even really feel appreciated and you're not serving your purpose. Some of y'all feel stuck in this damn loop. It's like you're doing the same damn thing over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And Spirit is saying, what are you going to do differently, all right? This has a lot to do with Saturn, okay? Okay. Working, yeah, working through trauma and mental health struggles, okay? Some of you guys could be wanting to construct some type of like or uh, construct some type of spiritual business or align uh, some type of your a spiritual practice and what it is that you do, okay? I'm also picking up on a lot of focus around children. Some of you all have a life path around children. Some of you all could work with children with like learning disabilities as well. Again, I'm hearing connectivity. Some of you all, I'm also hearing music could be of significance, frequency, frequency healers, energy healers, okay? I am picking up on all 
also some of you guys could be going into a wanting to receive some type of like Reiki healing all right I'm also how they go we, we going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship okay so some of you guys could be wanting to go on a trip some of you all could be um, wanting to connect with um, Aoife okay I'm also hearing something regarding shamanism past present future you you okay some of y'all are um some of y'all are stepping into your ability also to um, astral project, okay, astral projection. I'm also hearing between realms, between worlds, all right, how you see things. I'm also hearing rapid manifestations of the mental space, all right, so watch your thoughts, Gemini, all right. Some of you all are, uh, some of you all are literally noticing that your thoughts are actually transforming or harvesting into things. So Spirit is saying make sure that you're manifesting what it is that you de that you actually desire versus what it is that you actually fear. Because for some of you all, you're getting ready to have to look your biggest motherfucking fear in the face in order to get to the next level. And for some of you all, that simply have to do with you being a slave to your own damn loyalty to people who don't even fucking appreciate your ass. Alright? Okay. I also, I'm, I, I wrote down, um, you guys got court documents, okay, addressing addictions, whether it's shopping addictions, whether it's like retail damn therapy. It's like some type of like com compartmentalizing of, compartmentalizing emotionally when you actually dealing with the damn problem at hand. I feel like some of y'all is avoiding the damn, it's like you avoiding addressing the damn elephant in the room, even though spirit is pushing you. You're like the damn conduit of, or, or like you're the source of addressing the damn elephant in the room. I am hearing that this is strongly tied to a previous life. Some of y'all have a very strong past life in Egypt as it pertains to some type of power struggle when it comes to authority. Um, I'm also hearing connections that, uh, that connections that actually prevented you from ascending okay and their purpose in this life was to keep your ass mentally stuck and not able to ascend all right again past life recollections okay so some y'all leo capricorn cancer sagittarius aries pisces okay virgo and scorpio could be of significance someone's triggering something that's needing to come to the surface and be resolved once and for all for you to be able to speak your truth and get to the next level of some uh, of actually like walking the path and that is aligned with your desires aligned with your purpose okay oh yeah that was a mouthful all right so let's get into it all right, so let's get you guys a message uh, from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. All right, I don't like shuffling them cards like that because I ain't trying to F up my cards, honey, okay? So let's get into it. <laughs> Gemini, I'm hearing, um, what have you done to me? I can't eat, I cannot sleep, and I'm not the same anymore, no, no. I don't know what to do when all of me wants all of you. Do I stand alone at the shore? Okay, so some of you all, that's Anita Baker, by the way, all right? But some of you all, I feel like someone could have done a number on your confidence. And it's really affecting, again, how you show up in the damn world. Or it's affecting you being able to step in and, like, take take power over your divinity. Or take power over, um, I'm hearing for you to actually, like, step into your, your use of your own personal power, all right? There's a sense of self-doubt. I'm also hearing, again, some type of, like, psychological overwhelming, again, Take time to like process your downloads. If you have to, write them down, all right? Some of y'all may need to uh, or find it useful to get like uh, some type of like small notepad that you can take with you, all right? To write down the things that you're being, that you're downloading at this time, all right? Because again, a lot of focus around the psyche, gems. I'm also hearing family secrets, okay? I'm hearing paternity, all right? I'm also hearing paperwork, some type of manipulated documents. Oh, shit, all right. Spirit, give me a message. What crystal will be of significance? Crystal will be of assistance to Gemini at this time. I need to know. Gemini, Sunday, the Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node. All right. Mukite Jasper. All right. Number three. All right. So this could actually have to do with. I'm hearing expansion. Okay. Expansion within your uh, within your uh, spiritual abilities, your psychic abilities. All right, I'm hearing tarotmancy, cartomancy. I'm also hearing clear aliens, clear audience, the ability to connect with others through your fields. Okay, I'm also hearing. Um, 
Mm -hmm. All right. The ability to connect with others through your feel. I'm also hearing the taste w without using like your average damn senses. All right. I'm also hearing um, some of you all like have a very strong smell taste. I'm also hearing, oh, okay, mediumship. Some of you all this is having to do with your children. All right. Some of you all have a fear of your gifts. Let's get it. Mukai. This could even be your children or suppressing suppressing a gift or something that was suppressed actually coming to the surface or being triggered through trauma. All right. The dream time. Mukai Jasper balances inner and outer experiences. It encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience to start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who treated the same, I'm sorry, who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Pull your, put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead. Worry not. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and, and sorry, pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas and avoid pride and despair. You have stamina. Wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge such as, such as a job, interview, or, presenta or presentation I'm sorry, is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic foods sustain your well-being. The frequency of this stone is earthy to medium, good for the earth star, base, and sacral chakra. Also good for Leos and those with the soul path of, with the soul path of drawing on ancestral wisdom. Again, waking up, awakening to past life knowledge, esoteric knowledge, okay? I'm also hearing a Leo could be of significance when it comes to some type of past life connection. I'm hearing past life power struggles, okay? Some of y'all in this life, it could present itself as some type of like co-parenting situation or some type of like um, mothering situation, okay? This could also have to do with like some type of authority figure, all right? Or some type of, uh, like I I'm hearing with this situation, this has to do with like you um, you taking back like your personal power. I'm also hearing duality, all right? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get some soul journey lessons messages for my gems. All right, soul journey lessons, messages for my gems. All right, gems, I'm also hearing dieting. Some of you guys could be detoxing at this time. Some of you guys also could be like, I'm hearing flushing, okay? So some of you all, this have to do with, I'm hearing alcohol, all right? Addressing addictions, alcohol. I'm also hearing narcotics. This could even be something that you're going through with an adult child as well. All right. Soul journey lesson. Whoa, let me ask the question first for y'all get the jumping up out of here. Gemini, I do pick up on this anxious, this anxious, this paranoia type of energy, okay? A lot, again, overly self-critical. Some of y'all are so damn, such damn perfectionists that it's causing a sense of damn procrastination when it comes to the time that you, okay, I'm also hearing time management. Some of y'all watching too many damn tarot readings. Time management. Time spent doing something that is like unproductive or doesn't assist you grow. All right, let's see. Does should uh, does it assist you to grow or with growing? If this is a relationship, same damn shit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three. All right. You guys got pride. Some of y'all could definitely be, this could definitely be the damn Gemini and Leo saga, all right? I'm also hearing, are some of you all masking how you feel? Like, if this is a co-parenting situation, are you addressing the issues that this person has with you? Or are you, or, or, or this could be you, this could be happening to you, or this could be your ass, okay? But I am picking up on, some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo that you have children with. And I feel like, for some of you all, you're not really telling this person what the, what the, what the true issue is. But some of y'all, it has to do with, like, abandonment, rejection, okay? This person could have really done a number on your confidence. But for some of you all, you're, you're using like, I feel like some of you all are finding issues with the, that this person has with the children versus actually acknowledging the fact that you have an issue with this individual with how they made you feel, okay? 
I feel like children could be involved here, but in a way where it's like damaging to them. And I feel like for some of you all, you're being called to do what's right or see things in a fair manner, okay? For I, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I'm picking up on like a mirroring energy here, all right? But again, definitely a learning lesson, Leo, all right? Gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents, all right? For some of you all, this could also have to do with having too much pride to leave a particular uh, person, situation, circumstances due to experiencing so much like outside interference. Some of you all are feeling as if you failed at something. You failed at you failed at keeping something or you failed at something but ultimately spirit was that was only a learning lesson i heard whatever this is it stayed beyond its expiration date all right something was here to teach you and now that cycle has passed and it's time for you to execute what it is that you learn when it comes to professional life when it comes to your own your own spirituality um your own spiritual path as it pertains to connecting with others some of you all are empathic okay some of you all also have a purpose around communication or leading or teaching okay women all Right. I'm also hearing I'm hearing the divine feminine. I'm also hearing the youth when it comes to the mass to a, a masculine energy. Okay, so this could be little boys or like young adults. Okay. All right, give me one more for gems. Okay, thank you. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. For some of you all, you could work in the healthcare field. Some of you all could also be wanting to go back to school uh, for psychology as well. But I'm also picking up on this have to do with some type of like, again, addressing mental health issues. For some of you all, you're dealing with a parent figure that could be losing their memory, all right? I'm also hearing this person could have struggled with like PTSD or this could be you. I'm also hearing again therapy. Some of you all could be seeking out some type of like medical help or some type of like psychological help. I'm also hearing behavioral health. Okay, so some of y'all this could be involving your children. All right, overly active children. I'm hearing ADHD. Okay, I'm also hearing again children with learning disorders. All right, um, some of you all could actually be therapists. Some of you guys could also work um, as like a holistic healer. Okay, some of you guys could actually be working on some type of um, holistic healing or some, some type of holistic hairline as well as what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing aromatherapy, okay? Some of you all could create bath salts, bath soaps. I'm hearing holistic lifestyle, holistic healing for some of you all. You could also need to eat more green leafy vegetables. Something having to do with the gastric, the gastric area or having some type of like digestive issue. A lot of six house energy there, okay? This could even be the need for you to stop doing something because it actually is taking a toll on your health. This could be smoking. This could be drinking, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with the heart. Some of you all could also be keeping a health issue to yourself or your children are. Or there could also be a mother figure that is doing this, okay? Some of y'all, you could be the mother figure. All right, so let's get into it. All right, give me... No. Pause. Gemini, I feel... Pulled. I'm also hearing be grateful for the now. Be grateful for the now. Learn from your past. Be grateful now in the present in order to create a bright future. Alright. So let's get into it. I'm feeling called to pull these um what are these called? The island the island time wellness. Love Oracle cards, okay? Gemini, when I was in your energy, I began to feel a bit spacey, okay? Some of y'all could be having issues when it comes to daydreaming or spacing out or actually being like present in the moment. It's like you feel as if you're in two places at one time, all right? You're here in parallel universes. Some of you all are, some of you all are operating within a parallel universe, multidimensional beings. What your sacred is? Sacred wisdom, sacred knowledge. Sacred texts. Some of you guys could also be studying constellations. Astrology, astronomy, numerology, life paths, okay? Some of y'all could also be getting very heavily into reading birth charts, okay? You guys got keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Somebody could also be gaslighting your ass because you got some of that good yum yum, okay? You got the motherfucking magic stick. I already asked y'all gems. What do y'all do on it? Is it a sit? Is it a is it a like a is it like a sit down? Is it a drop down on it, bitch, and a spin? What is it? Okay? I feel like someone's manipulating you or gaslighting you. This person does like you, but this person has a, has an issue when it comes to um, connecting 
connecting or like mastering their emotions. I feel like someone feels less than or someone feels a sense of weakness if they like completely let you in, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you can feel this, all right? Some of you all also, there could also be talks about moving in if you've been dating somebody. Um, Gemini, if you're doubting this decision, trust what you feel. I'm getting for not all of you. Some of you all, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on some type of um, divinely orchestrated like separation, for, especially if someone had like um, some type of prison background. Some of y'all, I get pedophilia vibes with this, all right? Especially if you were dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? You guys got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out immediately. I, I, I literally heard it's a hating ass bitch in the bushes, okay? So for some of you all, this is someone trying to find flaws, faults, all right? This could even be someone like stalking your social media, someone when it comes to like spiritual protection. For some of you all, this could also be some type of like wearing some type of evil eye protection, okay? I'm picking up on someone. Some of y'all could also be catching someone driving by your damn home, all right? Someone's obsessed. Someone's obsessed with the idea of you dating someone else or you being sexually active or being emotionally like involved with someone else. Somebody wants to know. This person is even going as far as infiltrating your damn dream space because I literally heard big block. Some of y'all big block these people. And some of y'all this could even be family, all right? Someone's obsessed over a person, place, or damn thing, all right? The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. For some of you all, the other woman knows more about your motherfucking life than your spouse is willing to goddamn tell you. Some of y'all just could even be finding out that someone has some type of family dynamic set in stone already. Someone had one foot in and one foot out the damn door. Some of y'all have been in long-term relationships and had no idea that you were the other woman. Certain things, okay, I'm hearing secrets is getting exposed, all right? This could also be um, someone telling you that they could, like, be in some type of marriage but in a separation. Someone didn't, someone omitted the facts, okay? I'm also picking up on someone, like, stealing your work, someone stealing your ideas, someone trying to, like, again, infiltrate your business. I'm also hearing infiltrate your psyche, like someone trying to like siphon your damn psychic gifts through spell work, all right? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, okay? I feel like, again, some of you all, again, I heard compartmentalizing. Some of you all could be using work as a damn distraction for you not to feel, but you're having a hard time sleeping because you keep playing something over in your damn head over and over and over and over and over again. Some of you all are really trying to, like, do the shadow work when it comes to your own internal emotions before you get connected with other people, but love just keep knocking at your damn door, all right? You want to know is it safe to let your damn guards down, all right? At the bottom of the deck, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Some of someone could also be manifesting you back, all right? I'm here manifesting you back. For some of y'all, this is, this is going to be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For others of you, this could be a water sign. Someone wants to apologize to you or make something right, but they have no earthly clue about how to go about doing so because this person sucks at fucking communication, all right? Someone's not a communicator. Someone wasn't taught to. Someone was taught that expressing their emotions is a form of weakness, all right? And I feel like there's a need to reparent yourself or this person is in the space of needing to reparent themselves or gain a, like, a greater perspective on love. How someone, someone perceives love from a hurtful from a hurtful deceitful ass fucking place or there's this need or this like subconscious need to defend yourself all right but spirit is saying let the wall down in order to like really receive your blessing here honey okay let's get it give me clarify keys on the ring the damn cars want to jump clarify keys on the ring clarify keys on the ring all right so some of y'all you could be putting somebody the fuck out there's need for you to take your damn key back all right for some of you all this is someone wanting access to your realm but they're emotionally unfucking available all right i feel like again a one-sided ass relationship for some of you all also i am picking up on this could even be having to do with like you walking away from a situation or you giving someone um their damn keys back i'm picking up on again a sense of a separation with this all right Many options, decisions, unconditional, string along, one night stand, all right? Some of y'all, this could even be you, like, someone ghosting you or, like, really triggering some type of trauma around abandonment that's really needing to be, like, worked on that's been being suppressed, all right? I also heard sociopathic tendencies. So some of y'all, you could be dealing with a fucking sociopath. All right, clarify sunglasses, watching, stalking, 
gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Some of y'all could also be dealing with somebody who is like, somebody, yeah, somebody could have like some very heavily, um, some very heavy addictions, all right? I feel like somebody is fucking, somebody ain't, somebody ain't doing the drugs. The drugs doing your ass. Or the drugs doing their ass, all right? Yeah, but something's over, all right? Some of y'all could have blocked somebody, and I feel like somebody got something to motherfucking say, Gemini. For some of y'all, this is not nice. For some of y'all, somebody's just looking to stir up. Some, some, someone's looking to stir up shit to get a reaction out of you just to know if you still care is what I'm hearing. <laughs> y'all dealing with some crazy motherfuckers. All right, someone could also could also be trying to piss you off. So this is this is this energy of like, tell me how you really feel. Somebody could be trying to piss you off to make you. Yeah, somebody's trying to use you against you. All right, be very responsible with your words during this time, Gemini. All right, that flew way over there. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, things could be on standstill when it comes to dealing with the fucking Sagittarius. This person could literally be or, or try to put you in a third party situation. For some of you all, some of y'all find out that somebody been lying about going to work. I'm here and check the. I'm here and check the emails. Someone could have also been looking through your emails. I'm also seeing somebody put a damn phone face up to somebody while they sleep. Somebody's hacking into somebody's motherfucking phone. And it's like, if you go looking for it, you're going to fucking find it, gems. okay? Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for something to come to the surface or something to be revealed, all right? Or there's a fire sign in the background waiting on this to happen to you, all right? But some of y'all just could be involved in a fire sign. I'm also hearing the ending of someone or someone's demise. Some of you all intuitively know that somebody's getting ready to experience some type of like heartbreak or some type of like um, trauma. I'm also hearing unfinished business. Someone feels as if like they're, they're not, somebody feels like they're being lied to. Someone already knows the truth as well. All right, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Someone wants to come clean, but they don't want to like, <laughs> someone feels guilty but they don't want to tell you every damn thing because someone's afraid of you being judged okay some of y'all this could be the father of your children for some of you all you could be stressing over a damn Aries someone's losing sleep behind some type of like hidden knowledge regarding the father figure I'm also hearing paternity okay yes for some of you all also this could have to do with like work uh, some, something work related alright somebody could actually be like using work somebody could be dealing with somebody who and we Somebody could be dealing with somebody that they work with, okay? Someone could also be behind the scenes trying to work things out with an Aries individual, all right? I feel like someone also could be working on their finances. Okay, again, I'm getting this damn time loop. For some of y'all, this could be you trying to like execute something over and over and over and over again within a damn workplace, but I feel, I feel like the efforts are going like unseen or unnoticed. And Spirit is saying, this is happening, baby, to back your ass up into a while. Because you were not born, you were not created to work no damn job. But some of you all, you being called in the realm of entrepreneurship, okay, or starting your own damn business. For some of you all, you're launching uh, some type of new business, or you're working on getting something off the damn ground. I feel like in the next three months, number three is going to be very, uh, very important here. I feel like in the next three months, I'm also hearing Libra season is going to be significant. When Libra goes retrograde, and um, when Mercury goes retrograde in Libra um, during Libra season, I feel like there's going to be a sense of like upheaval upheavals or things being like brought to the surface again in order for them to be in order for there to be some type of like resolution and healing okay that takes place all right especially if there was any damn confusion in the background if you were confused about if someone wanted to work something out or if someone was wanting to put in the effort especially if this is a co-parenting situation i feel like someone is definitely going to try to make the damn step to like stand up and like stand up and do the right thing okay Someone's bringing clarity in the midst of confusion, okay? I heard patience. Patience is key, Jimmy. Patience. This could also be the truth about someone's death. All right. Oh, I heard autopsy. Somebody needs to get an autopsy report. Somebody could have also, like, co-conspired. Ooh, honey. In the death of someone or... Or helping someone keep some type of secret regarding some type of manipulated documents. I'm hearing birth certificate. I'm also hearing fire sign. I heard Aries. I also heard Capricorn. I heard Scorpio, Leo. All right. 
for. So advice, you guys got new beginnings, okay? New beginnings and opportunities. I feel like, again, if something is ending, allow it to end because it's like spirit is clearing way for your, for, for this sense of like, you, okay, spirit is clearing the way for your new journey, all right? For your next assignment. I'm also hearing obedience to spirit. I heard, who do you serve? Mm. What do you believe? What is true to you in your heart? Are your beliefs your own? How do you know? Listen. Listen to yourself. Listen to your spirit, guys. A lot of connecting to nature, okay, is going to be very helpful. Some of y'all could be needing to connect to the element of, um, I'm hearing water, okay. I'm also hearing earth as well. I heard purification, restoration, regeneration, okay. Or understanding the cycles of regeneration, uh, uh, degeneration, regeneration. In order for something to be born or rebirth, something must die, okay. So some of y'all, this could literally be, uh, you having like a sense of an ego death, okay. Or for some of y'all, this could actually be happening to someone around you where they see a situation differently or with clear eyes okay seeing something for what it is for some of y'all it's something it's, it's the fact that something is over and for some of y'all you're not allowing it to be over or there's a sense of unspoken truth but i am hearing there is going to be some type of divine intervention or some type of ancestral interference that's going to allow a, a space of again resolution and healing all right some of y'all could actually be going to the water. I'm also hearing connecting with um, water goddesses as well. A lot of mystic features, a lot of mystic creatures. Some of y'all could be researching the origin of mermaids, okay? Um, unicorns. I'm also hearing fairies or fays, okay? I'm hearing first dimensional, second dimensional beings, all right? I'm also hearing the attempt to infiltrate the psyche due, um, via fourth dimensional beings, okay? But spirit is giving you an opportunity to speak your truth. Speak your truth. I heard the truth will set you free. Okay? Yes. This is going to be a time of forgiveness. Creating the space for forgiveness. In order for you to clear your heart. In order for you to receive. Be open to receiving love. To be open to receiving your blessings. Without feeling that somebody's going to stab your ass in the back. Based on where the hell you've already been. That's your old story. That's where you've been. Gemini, where are you going? Okay? That's important. Intention, intention, intention. Give me a few. Uh, let me see who the fuck y'all dealing with. Then we're going to get the hell up out of here. All right? Who the hell is Gemini dealing with? This could be you or the person in which you're dealing with. All right? You guys got Libra Moon. Okay? Oh, all right. I hate when these things do that. You guys also got Pisces Moon. Again, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Fixed North Node, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. <laughs> Leo, Virgo Rising, Capricorn Moon, Mutable North Node, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. Whoa, who this? Libra. Cancer Rising, Taurus, Leo Moon, Aries Moon, Sagittarius, okay? So again, that could be significant to you as a person in which you're dealing with, all right? So Gemini, that is what I have for you at this time. I send you all love, light, peace, and many motherfucking blessings, honey. I pray that this message finds you in love and divine wisdom. And if you need a personal reading to go uh, for a more extensive uh, look into your situation, you can find that in the description box below. I love y'all.